Well, this is quite worrying. Let's begin. Now, it may seem like common sense has gone out the window, but I would have thought that surely that if someone no longer lives at your address owed a company money, then at least some checks would have been made to find out if that person still lives in the property or not. I mean, I know that may be an unthinkable suggestion, as it should be, you know, bloody obvious, especially to all those lovely and horrible parking companies out there seem to get it right. Although, I guess that might be a slightly different to what we have here, because according to The Sun, SSE broke into a person's home and swapped their meter for a prepayment one, which apparently they are actually allowed to do if a customer can't or won't pay their bills. But there's just one problem here. They weren't an SSE customer. But if it gets worse than that... Don't be silly. All they had to do was give SSE a call and call them bellends. What's the point in making this video? Oh, I hate the smug one! The article also says that the couple who own their own home initially started getting letters from SSE Energy that were addressed to another man, which they would turn to send like anyone else would. But the bailiffs with a warrant from SSE Energy, now run by Over Energy, installed a prepaid meter at their home when they were out. But when the customer explained that the man no longer lived there, the bailiffs apologised and gave them the customer service number. Rachel told Hell Live that she spent hours on the phone to SSE, but they would not discuss the issue with her because the account wasn't in her name, and she doesn't actually have an account. SSE Energy told Hell Live that it could take up to 15 days to get back to Rachel, and that she would have to use the meter. And a spokesman said, we're very sorry to Miss Holgate for the inconvenience caused. We're attempting to reach Mrs Holgate to apologise and provide a resolution. Well, I guess that's certainly one way of getting a new customer, but hopefully that resolution that Rachel will be experiencing will be a lovely check with a lot of zeros at the end, especially if she had to miss a few days off work to sort out SSE's mess. And I think that in future, something like a voter's check or I know something like that might be a good idea for a court to do so they can see if a person still lives there or not. And what would also annoy me is in this video if I had to pay a company's new charge through no fault of my own. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.